Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I am sitting here at the Man Cave. I'm getting ready to do a little something with my buddy, Game Time Brian. Uh, but before I do, I do want to get this in. Shout out to my son, Michael Anthony Fitness Reaction Gig Economy. Um, an electrician extraordinaire, because without his electrical work, we wouldn't be able to be broadcasting from here at Joe Boo's Man Cave. So we have our uh, only outside free agent signing, Eric Kendrick. Um, Nick Eatman has done a little interview with him, so I want to bring that to you guys so that way we can get a little taste and flavor of what we have from Eric Kendrick. Let's go to it. Boom. What's up, Cowboys Nation? I'm Nick Eatman here along with the Cowboys' newest linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And, Eric, it's been kind of a crazy week for you. Just tell us how excited you are to be here at, at the Star and signing with the Cowboys. Yeah, no, I feel like uh, just arriving yesterday and, and, and being in the facility today, it's all become real. You know, i um, very excited to play. Obviously, it's a sport I grew up love playing, playing love, uh, love playing middle linebacker. And um, I'm happy that I get to be in Zim system again. And uh, it felt right. Yeah, talk about uh, Coach Zimmer as well. He he just got here, uh, I guess, a, uh, a few weeks ago, and, and now you know he signs you back. What was it like to play for him? You know, I feel like uh, you know the level of detail and uh, and the, the amount of football that I learned with Zim was uh, was tremendous, and I feel like I'll never take that for granted, and that's why I'm in the situation I'm in back back with him right now. He's Apparently, you know, and he was here obviously before uh, he went to uh, Cincinnati, Minnesota. So we've seen him for a while. Very intense. What, is that the kind of style that, that you like? I mean, he seems like he's a player's coach, but he'll he'll tell you what he thinks as well. Yeah, definitely. You know, I feel like we, me and Zim have had our times where we've even butted heads. You know what I mean? And um, just the fact that I'm back now with him just shows you, you know, how I believe in him, and he, you know, he believes in me, and and um, you know, we want to get the job done. Ultimately, you know, playing playing the best football and and winning it, winning a championship is is our, is our ultimate goal. So that's why I'm back here with him. Who usually wins those battles when you butt heads? <laughs> you know, I feel like we're both too we're both too damn stubborn. So um, you know, sometimes it's a lose lose, but it's sometimes it's a win win like it is now. There's been some reports that you were leaning a different way, maybe even San Francisco. Uh, what what kind of turned the tide? Was it was it just reuniting with Coach Zimmer? What was it about signing with the Cowboys that you felt like you had to do this? You know, I feel like it was it was it was a really hard decision. You know, it's a, it's an excellent organization and, and a wonderful program they have there. And uh, uh, ultimately, uh, I wanted the I wanted the opportunity to play Mike and bet on myself. Um, and especially at this point in my career, I, I have a lot left to prove. I feel great, um, moving great. So um, to be to, to be able to play Mike with this defense and, and the, the guys that we have on this defense, um, it was an opportunity I could have passed, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm very happy with the decision. You've seen from afar. You've seen guys like uh, you've been on the other side of Micah Parsons and Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb. What's it going to be like to be a teammate with them? You know, I don't know yet. It's gonna it's gonna be crazy, but uh, you know, just hearing from my buddy Anthony Barr, um, locker room's amazing, and um, the, the 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 guys in the locker room are amazing. So. Um, I just can't wait for the opportunity to meet him. All right. Well, welcome to Dallas. This is new Cowboys linebacker, Eric Kendricks. All right. Interesting. Interesting to say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is official. We have. Okay. Uh, going on to the next video. Uh, it's official that Michael Gallup as well as Leighton Van Der Esch are uh, both going to be cut. Uh, Michael Gallup is going to be a June 1st. Uh, cut. So there we have it. So Eric Kendrick, um, what's funny is no matter what the Cowboys do, um, everybody goes crazy. On Monday, when people thought that we were going to sign him, everybody was excited as could be. Then we heard he was going to San Francisco. Then everybody trashed him and everything else. He decides, you know what, I'd rather play with the Cowboys and Mike Zimmer then go to San Francisco, and then, of course, Cowboy. Oh, he's a 32-year-old linebacker. He's a bum and blah, 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 blah. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I think he's definitely an improvement from where we were before, and I'm happy that they signed him. And I'm hoping, you know, right now everybody is mad. Everybody is blasting the Cowboys. You know what? I'm over that right now. I'm over it. I'm going to see, and, and, but that's, that's not to say I can't bring it back. I can definitely bring it back. But right now, I'm going to wait and see what they do here on out. 
Is it going to be something? Are they going to go ahead and actually sign some other players? Hopefully, we'll get a little bit better than some of the journeymen that we've had. You know, if you can get some really good guys, and of course, there is Stefan Diggs out there who does his annual, I'm not happy, but at one of these times, um, they're going to go ahead and trade him. And here's where you want to talk about turning people uh, around. Let the Cowboys make a move like that for, say, Stephon Diggs. You go ahead and get um, C.D. Lamb's contract done. And the thing with that is there's no rush on that kind of a deal because here's where it's going to be interesting. Okay, now, now this is I, – I guess I could save it for another video. But here's my thing. I'm going to put it out here right now. With Michael Gallup, you're going to get $9.5 million. Okay, nine and a half million dollars for Buffalo. There is no advantage to cutting digs right now. The best thing they could do is trade him um, after June 1st, because if they do cut him now, they're basically going to eat all that contract. If they do it as a June 1st trade, then it'll end up being they could split it out over two years. Now, you could say, well, they could just cut him then. But, yeah, but the possibility of getting some compensation, it won't be for this year's draft. It'd be next year's draft. So this is one of those things that you actually have to look at this and say, yeah, this might be doable. And if the Cowboys were to make a move something like that and end up bringing in another star player, and you know they love they love receivers because, you know, they would love to be able to sell – all those Diggs jerseys. Now, you know, you can, I, I can see my man Mike Mosh making Diggs, Diggs and Diggs jerseys. You know what I'm saying? So as far as a marketing standpoint and things and really doing something to help your uh, team, and I'll have more on this later on in my ideas and stuff on here. Um, and in fact, maybe I'll talk to Game Time Brian about this. Now, I do have a problem here. I do have a problem here. As you look behind me here, I'm at 99,534 subscribers. That's about 1,000 more than it was yesterday, okay? So what's going to happen is probably in the middle of the night is when this thing's going to hit 100,000. So I'm thinking that when I do my Friday night live stream, my normal live stream, we're going to turn that into a watch party. And we're just going to go until we hit 100,000. So that may end up being, you know, maybe it's 12 o'clock, maybe it's 3 o'clock in the morning, maybe it's 6 a.m. I don't know when it's going to be. But that means I'm going to be up all night long. And I was figuring that maybe what we do is we go ahead and do this as a uh, membership call-in show. So that way we can share all this with you guys. Let me know what you think about that, and uh, we will definitely be doing something here because I don't want to miss when it actually turns over. So, as always, good people, I appreciate you. And uh, let me get my man Game Time Brian going. Peace.